that you guys can hear me. I'm at a cafe here in Chicago. It's called um, Curtis Exchange, and um, it's really cute in here. I'm not even sure if you can see, but it's like super industrial looking. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just pretty badass. I like the places like this. The aesthetic is really cool. The music is nice. The food is actually really good, and I actually got um, a vanilla chai latte, which is one of my favorite drinks. Um, so I was pleased that they actually made a decent one. Um, but I am just coming to you guys just to kind of update you guys on what's going on in my life. Um, also, let me tell you guys about this quality. So I am recording from my MacBook Air and um, obviously it's not going to be the best. So it's a little grainy and crazy looking. So I apologize for that. But I just want to come on here and talk to you guys about my life and what's been going on so far. So I am in Chicago right now and I'm in Chicago because I have relocated here. So you guys, if you've been following me for a while now, you know that I actually was living in Austin, Texas for a few years and me and my fiance at the time, we actually moved there um, from New York. So backstory also, I'm originally from Chicago. So I... Moved from Chicago to New York, and then from New York, me and my fiance at the time moved to Chicago. I mean, Austin, Austin, Texas. So, and now I am here. So I've been here since like May 31st. Um, I moved into my apartment on June 1st, and I am now like here. Like, you know, this is my new life. I'm just trying to get accustomed to everything. Um, so far, it has not been like sunshine and daisies, it's, you know, everything is just how you make it um and so i kind of have been feeling a little overwhelmed with certain things but that's to be expected because you're uprooting yourself and moving to a whole different location so that is what um i've done and it is what it is so i let me see if i can push this back so so i am now here in chicago and it's pretty decent so far. I mean, the location where I live is really awesome. Um, my apartment is not that big. It's kind of small, but I'm trying to, like, build up, you know, and make it look really nice. Um, you guys know I'm really into inter interiors and decorating and organizational things and stuff like that. So, with that being said, there will definitely be some lifestyle videos where I, you know, kind of take you through my process of styling my apartment and also um, making it organizationally sound because it definitely is um, quite small <laughs> and I have like legit one closet in my apartment so the one closet is in the bedroom and that's definitely not enough for my clothes and I don't have any other organizational cabinets or anything like that no pantries no nothing to put things places I mean the kitchen has a few cabinets but nothing substantial so i will be you know getting very um creative when it comes to anything you know organizing anything in my apartment whether it's the rest or the restroom the bathroom the bedroom the living room the kitchen every single thing so i will definitely be creating some videos and showing you guys how you can really maximize your space and the things that you can do to um you know make it look amazing but not overly cluttered um yeah, so expect those videos soon. I also have been super shopping lately. Um, I've been having some retail therapy moments. So I definitely will be updating you guys on some of my new pieces, pieces that I have actually, you know, put into my wardrobe, which I'm super excited about. My style is definitely evolving into something different. Um, I tend to sometimes dress like this, which is a little more like, you know, casual, edgy, casual, whatever, however you want to say it. But I also am definitely leaning towards a little more of a feminine style as well, and so I think you guys will see that um, in the upcoming like you know months because I'll be doing more like photos and outfit of the day and some type of lookbooks I want to do as well on my channel. So stay tuned for those videos as well. And my hair has been super growing. If you can tell now, like my fro is shrunken, of course, but it's. Um, definitely been a journey with this hair so I want to give you guys some videos on like a few styles that I love to rock with my hair and also how you can make your TWA look really good in hats because I'm a hat person so I want to show you guys that as well so those are some fun videos that are upcoming 
Um, what else? And you know what? I get a lot of questions about makeup, which is so interesting. I'm not a makeup artist or anything, but I do really, really, really love makeup and I love how creative it is. And um, I actually feel like there are certain things that people may not know how to do that maybe I can show how to do, but I'm no artist, you know, I'm just doing stuff that I've learned from watching other YouTubers and also from like watching Instagram videos and stuff like that. So I can share what I learned and what I know and I'm still learning. So it's just going to be a process. So I can definitely still do a few like makeup videos and hair videos and stuff like that on my journey of like discovering what works for my skin type and what works for my hair type and all that stuff. So I'll take you on this journey. I mean, it's no guarantee that it's going to work out for you if it works for me, but you know, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, like my life has definitely changed. I just, I, um, just recently did a blog entry on my website. And if you're not familiar with it, it's rgmo.com. And I just kind of like, you know, just basically saying the same things that I'm saying in this video about like, where I am now and what's going on in my life right now like I am in Chicago and like I said I, I think I, I kind of briefly said like my former ex fiance um, we are no longer together but we are definitely still friends we were like best friends so it's um, a relationship that's still there um, but we have separated so we are no longer together which is definitely a big transition for the both of us and for me personally I am really in a place where it's just an emotional roller coaster basically like sometimes you know you can just forget about things and you know out of sight out of mind and then there are things that will trigger a memory and you ultimately just feel away and so I think that's kind of how I've been lately um, these last few days have been pretty rough like you know it's just it's a lot to take in it's a lot to do and deal with and you guys if you don't know previous to this whole move and me and my fiance um separating i also had lost my mom so i lost my mom in march and that has been like a extreme like hit you know to my heart to my mind and just it's just randomly you know the urge to want to call her and to want to be around her and want to talk to her about all the things that are going on it's like it's crazy and it's so intense because my mom has always been there for me and my siblings and just she's always been like the person who I can go to and talk to you about certain things and it's so rough that like in this you know really sensitive time in my life right now I don't have that person to go to like I have friends and I have other family but it's not the same as if you know that relationship that you build with like your parent your mom and even my dad like you know I love him and you know we have a great relationship but you know it's just something about when you talk to your mom and the advice that she can give so I've been dealing with that as well <laughs> it's just been a lot going on guys um, I I'm going to be just taking you guys on this journey. I'm going to be doing like some type of lifestyle stuff. So I will definitely be going to events around Chicago. I want to take you guys with me. So maybe I'll do some vlogging. Um, this is kind of like a vlog style sit down type of video. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to be in Chicago, even though circumstances are the way that they are. I'm just trying to be like as positive and as, um, not apprehensive, <laughs> as positive and trying to like take control and um you know just have a new focus on life and not um you know live in the negativity of things so just on this journey um and i just want to update you guys and let you guys know what's going on with me i know i've been absent from my channel for man a while now and i do apologize i want to thank you guys for just sticking around because i know you guys could have been like all right well she made a video so delete unsubscribe but you guys have still been sticking around so i appreciate that just know that there's some stuff to come um, I will be utilizing my YouTube channel to make sure that it helps me to like get these creative juices flowing and also kind of be an escape. Um, I really hope you guys can hear me because I know that it's super loud in here. Um, but yeah, so just thank you guys for all that you um, do as far as like being patient. Um, and if you have any like requests, I know that I've gotten a few about hair, which I said is coming. I'm going to be doing, I don't know what's going on right here though, um, but I'm going to be doing a hair care video. But anyway, um, if you have any requests about like, you know, whatever, if it's fashion, if it's beauty and hair, if it's, you know, just like 
questions about anything like you know let me know down below and i'll try to create a video surrounding your request um and then what else i think that's basically it so that's all i wanted to really like share with you guys um and just stay tuned be patient with me i am you know trying to get that consistency back up i know i had made a video about consistency um and it's just been a lot going on and i mean you know there are always be some stuff going on because it's life you know so thanks again and i will see you in my next video hopefully it'll be better quality so let's pray all right bye guys thanks